Okay, I'm, I'm reviewing the uh, IO Gear GFR204SD. And it's a uh, SD, micro SD card reader. It's multi reader, but basically as SD and micro SD. And it's the black back of it. Okay, you can get them at a, I got a micro center, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, it's basically a cheap um, card reader. Just a cheap uh, SD card reader. Uh, yeah, gum stick size card reader. Um, what's special about it? What I find special about it is that it seems to be uh, a Linux friendly. Uh, by comparison to other card readers, the lights stay on when you eject it in Linux. But in, in Windows or Apple, it it, uh, it unmounted properly. The light goes off, and you know that it's it's safe to remove. But in Linux, uh, usually the lights stay on. But this one, when you unmount it, the uh, blue light goes off. So when you unmount or eject, the light goes off. So I'm just gonna do that. And. I got an extension cord, so when I plug it in, it shows up in in, uh, in my Linux machine here. I got Mint, and so when I eject it, I click the eject button. See, the light goes off. Okay, and I'll do the same with the uh, micro SD card. Plug it in. That goes on. I'll eject it. And that goes off. Okay. It's also got a nice uh, land yard here. And when you plug in the, the cards, um, the uh, circuit, the contacts here. The uh, logic card, the contact goes faces up, and micro SD. So they, they the contacts have to oppose each other. Okay, so we plug plug in um, SD card. The uh, top side faces the uh, nameplate here. Micro SD goes on the other side. Where the top faces the bottom. I have another one for the gearhead, for example. And if I plug it in, light goes on. But when I click eject, so it just remains on. And we got another cheap, uh, no name uh, card reader. Goes on, works, eject it, and uh, doesn't give you any feedback. It just stays on, so I'm not sure if it's on or off. Okay, thanks. Okay. And one more thing. Um, 
just for laughs, I'm just gonna disassemble this guy just to see what's inside. Just to be curious. I'm just gonna disassemble it with one of these pry tools. Okay. And I haven't opened in it before. I just bought this today. So I haven't opened it yet. It's the first time opening it, so let's see this for the first time. Let's see what's inside. So that's that's what's inside. I've seen this before. So it's an embedded uh, chip here. Processor is embedded. Just some uh, diodes and uh, LED in the middle. And the capacitor. And uh, the uh, cards don't uh, don't spring out like when you push in. Usually, if you using you put a card in a phone or whatever, and you push it, it's, it clicks out, but it doesn't do that. It just goes in. Just pulls out. See this? The uh, what I was saying before is that the contact has to face the circuit board. So it's this. So micro SD will face this way. The the contacts will face uh, that way. Whereas the SD card contact faces the other way because they're both facing the circuit board. And you can only probably you'll use one one at a time. And so here, here now you see why that is. Okay. So the contacts are on the circuit board, so they oppose each other. So it's a cheap little uh, card reader. So I think I want to like this one because it's Linux friendly. Works properly in Linux. That's the other side. That's it. So I guess I'll just put it back together. This must go this way. This must go that way then. It doesn't even click, just goes in. Stable enough. It does not come with a lanyard, it just has a hole for a lanyard, just so you know. So that's the model number. GFR204SD